in SmartMet. You can track the movement of an air parcel using the trajectory tool. The trajectory tool is this icon here in the toolbar. When you open it, it should look something like this. You can track the air parcels at different heights. For example, 1000 hectopascals, 925, 850 and so on. It is possible also in the middle in the scale. You can modify the scale when you are hovering your mouse above it and then left clicking or right clicking. You can also use different models available. So here you have an option to choose between the models. Here we have the models available, for example, GFS. It is also possible to visualize different models from the same point to see the difference. It is also possible to use forward or backward calculation. Forward meaning forward from the moment you are at timeline so you are kind of releasing the parcel you want to follow, for example. The backward calculation works the other way around. You want to see at this exact moment that where the parcel has come from. So for example, I want the track in the middle of Finland and forward. I want to see where the parcel from the Friday at 12 UTC is going to. So I choose the time step, so the time setting and then the time length. I want to track it for 48 hours instead of 24. And then I just click Add Trajectory. Now you can see what is the result. I can also release it from the same point and using different height, for example from the surface, 1000 hectopascal and Add Trajectory. If I want to know where the parcel has come from, so I just click backward and add trajectory. And if I want to use the same calculation but for another model, like for example ECMWF, I can just change the model, use the same settings and add trajectory. You can see that there are not that many differences between the models. And then of course if I want to clear them all, I can just click clear. I can also use different places at the same time. So if I do forward calculation and I use only now 24 hours and I will use ECMWF model. So I can use one in the middle of Finland, so at trajectory and then using the same height but different location like the capital area of Finland at trajectory and also in the northern part maybe a little bit higher up as there are a little bit of mountains or higher terrain and a trajectory. It is a very easy way to track where the parcel is going to. If you want to see some deviation, so if you want to see something about the certainty of the output of the model, you can do it by using the plume settings. So you can click use plume. And this is quite good default values for trying this. So let's try again. And this time I'm using plume probability 25% and member count 10 at trajectory. Now you can see that the thickest line is the actual model output. And then SmartMet calculates these lighter colored, thinner lines. Note that they are not from the ECMWF model plume, they are calculated inside SmartMet, so they are not necessarily consistent with the model ECMWF, for example. The further you go in time, the more you have uncertainty, so it increases at the end of your time scale. Here the time length is 24 hours, and you can see that the thinner lines are already deviating from the main output. If you are using time lengths that are for example 6 hours, you should use different time step as well, as the time step is telling you how often the values are calculated. So here it's every 30 minutes, you probably want to use something like 10 minutes or even smaller than that. The time length indicates the number of hours the trajectory is visible 